Hi everyone, welcome to this week's video about using micro bits. This tutorial is all about using micro bit. Micro bits were developed by Microsoft with the help of BBC and they're amazing devices which cost you less than £20 and the technology that's built into them is amazing. You can do loads of coding with them and also you can buy different additions to add to them so you can develop amazing projects. You can access Microbit by using the computer or you can download the app onto your device. You do not need to have a physical Microbit. Built into all of the platform, there is a digital version of the Microbit which you can use. And that's what I'm gonna be talking about using today. Today's challenge is replicating a really well-known game, Rock, Paper, Scissors. Building on from the knowledge we learned last week, we are gonna be using conditionals and adding some of our own variables in order to replicate this game. So it would be great when you've made this game, you might challenge someone around your house or you could challenge one of your peers. I hope you enjoy, see you later. Type in make code micro bit. This takes you onto the website. It's the first one that comes up and you can see it's made by Microsoft, something I mentioned earlier. There are loads of tutorials on this website, it is amazing. Loads of games you can be making and lots of different activities like radio games, so that means you can play with one another, or music that you can incorporate, and the science activities are brilliant as well. I'm going to start a new project. Looking at the micro bit on the left of your screen, the micro bit has four main controls. It has A and B, and if I use the input, I can also have a shape function, also, you can have both A and B selected together. So there's four different controls that you can have on the micro bit, which is brilliant because it means you can have four different lines of string. In the input selection, I'm going to use the on shake command because that's what I think it looks like when you start a game of rock, paper, scissors. After I put in the on shake command, I'm going to create my own variable. The variable I'm going to create is hand because you shake your hand when you're starting the game. I'm going to put in the hand, set hand to zero, but I actually need to change that and I need to use some maths and I want it to choose a random selection between one and three. The reason I'm putting one and three is because in the game there are three different options you can have, rock, paper or scissors. Just like in the previous coding session on Scratch, I'm going to use logic. I used if true, else, so this is called a conditional. In this example, I'm going to expand this even further by pressing the plus button, and you can see it says if true then, else if, and then a further else. So what I want to happen next is I'm going to assign an icon to each of the numbers. Under logic, I'm going to select the comparison. The comparison being that if the hand equals one, then I want something to happen. I want it to show an LED. So this one is gonna represent paper. Then I'm gonna move on to what I want to happen if it randomly picks the second number. So if it picks two. So else if it equals two, I want the hand to show rock this time. In the last section, you don't need to put in another piece of logic. You can just put show LEDs because it's the other number. It knows if it's not one, if it's not two, it's definitely going to be three. And for this LED, I'm gonna try and draw scissors. So there's my basic string of code and I'm gonna press the shake button to see if it works. So you can see it's just randomly coming up with a different result each time, meaning I can challenge somebody else. You can improve your coding now by using some of the basic functions. So you can use some of the other buttons. If A is pressed, then you could show a string, or you could use input if a different button is pressed, such as B or A plus B, can you make something else happen? So there you go, a really quick way of creating rock, paper, scissors 
using a micro bit. See if you can challenge yourself to create this game or use the knowledge you know, like the conditionals, and create your own game. <laughs>